Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Heather the Crochet Witch here. Um, I figured I'd come back with an update and um, actually life-wise update. There's not a huge update yet because I don't see the doctor again until Halloween. But um, like I went for a regular doctor checkup just a regular one um, for my regular doctor I mean and um, kind of like caught her up on things that weren't in the notes and all that with the specialist and um, she gave me a little bit of like advice from her end and this and that and um, I don't know I guess we'll see like she made me feel a little more at ease um, about it I still haven't fully made a decision on my options but I'm leaning towards one of them but um yeah I'll let you guys know more when I know more I guess <laughs> and um I really appreciate all the kind like the kindness and the sweet things that everybody's had to say like it's really sweet I really had just wanted to let you guys know why I'd been like gone for so long and not been around and everything and i like, I didn't maybe necessarily expect people to be, like, mad, but I didn't expect people to reach out, and it was just really nice. So, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but on to the crochet part of the podcast, right? <laughs> um, I haven't gotten a lot, lot done. Like, I've gotten some little things, like, um, okay, so my obsession for a little while here were these dragon egg bags which I put up on my Instagram that are like dice bags and this was made from um some yarn from Hobby or Hobby or the Danish company um they have like kind of it's kind of like an unforgettable thickness but it's got mostly that I found that their colors were the colors of the landscape yarn so it's kind of like if the two had a baby it was this yarn, <laughs> but I made a few of these um, that people have claimed, and then this one is left over, and I plan to make more of these for um, hopefully some craft fairs, or if the local store in town, the gaming shop would like to sell any of them, perhaps, but I guess we'll see. Um, and aside from, let's see, what I spent most of my time doing is the Cherry Hearts uh, Cal. I, here I am sitting here with all these different things to do and I'm like, okay, I'm not doing any more crochet longs. I'm not doing any more of this and that until I do, until I finish this, until I get this much done, until this much is off of my workspace. You know? And then uh, literally looked up that night and was watching some videos and I was like, oh, I forgot Cherry Hearts is doing uh, a podcast or a podcast I was watching her podcast um Sandra Sandra Pauls and uh, I was like oh she's doing her, her crochet along and I forgot and I'm four weeks behind now and now I'm five weeks behind but I've been uh I've been catching up on the squares for that <laughs> um she is using dark horse yarns for like the kits that she's selling kind of like Mikey sells some kits sometimes for his crochet longs and stuff with color schemes and this and that um and it seems to be some like lighter weight fancier yarn which I don't have but um I decided since I had went through and collected all the colors of um the lion brand ferris wheel that I'd give it a go and just make all of these in all these different colors of ferris wheel which I love, I love the way it turned out. Um, if you guys have used Ferris wheel, you know what I'm talking about. This like kind of a slow change of variegation. Even the like this one, for example, is obviously like a blue one instead of just a bunch of variegated colors. But it's different shades of blue that changes. So, like, and I have them um, grouped in stitch markers because you're supposed with stitch markers because you're supposed to make eight of each kind. And she just released the fifth square yesterday so I have um, 
all of the first weeks done, all of the second weeks done, and all of the third weeks done, no, first, third, and fourth weeks, and I went back and I'm working on all the second weeks right now, um, just because they're the ones I found, I guess, easier, but just to give you like a quick flash through, this one is week... Remember the name of this one was Berries, the square. And I, this was week three. Pretty sure this was week three off the top of my head. But like here's one of the squares. I know my lighting is really crappy. I just still don't have my setup for um, when I want to start doing. This is my favorite. This, sorry, I interrupted myself, but this uh, yarn, this is my favorite square that I made. Look at the fall colors, how it goes from like orange out into like the browns, and this is actually from the one that I showed you guys, which is called Cherry on Top. Um, I will probably use this for like every square, because like, you, you only have to make eight squares of each so far, but there's 12 colors of yarn. <laughs> But then there's, I forget how many squares, but they work out to be divisible by 12, so I'll be able to make the same amount. So it helped with my like number OCD that I have going on where stuff has to be like divided into stuff equally. And I'm a mess, don't even get me started with that. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is like my favorite square, like ever, <laughs> of all of these. But when I bought all of these, I was kind of like thinking I would maybe put them all into a square blanket, a blanket of squares, I should say. And um, this one's pretty too, right? This is sprinkles on top. Sprinkles. It's just called sprinkles. Sorry. But um, yeah, and then this this cow came along. And I'm thinking, uh, the border is like, she hasn't released it yet, but like obviously, if, you know, you've seen it in her example and stuff. And um, the border is like this big intricate, and it's got like filet, like hearts and stuff on it, I'm thinking it is. And it's really pretty and lacy looking, and um, I don't have a solid color of Ferris wheel. And even though Ferris wheel says it's a number four weight yarn, I can't imagine pairing this with like a red heart because red heart is thicker than this and I kind of can't imagine pairing it with like a simply soft because of the shine color which is the same reason why I don't think I'd put it with like a landscape or an unforgettable even though their landscapes not that thin but either way I don't have any solid colors of, of uh, unforgettable and that has like a shine to it too so um not quite sure what I'm bordering it with yet there is, I do have a dark gray like here on Simply Soft that just doesn't seem that shiny to me, so maybe I'll use that one. I don't know. This is the week, if that was week three, this was week four. And this is all the same design, it's just different colors. Here's, here's that same color again. I love this, isn't that pretty? I'm like obsessed with it. This is vintage carousel. You definitely can't see the colors that well. I need to get my lighting and my setup and everything fixed better, but I swear as I was starting to make these, um, like every square I did, I was like, oh, I think this is my new favorite. Sorry, I haven't weaved in my ends yet, if you can't tell. Usually I'm one for right away weaving them in, but I guess I just really wanted to catch up first and then, and then weave them in. I don't know. What do you guys like? Do you guys like to like weave your ends in as you go or do you like to like save it for the end because you hate doing them or maybe because you love doing them? I don't, I don't particularly love doing them. I just like doing them as I go so I have them done, you know. This was week one. And these were all inspired by like nature. I can put the um, the main page up for her. Uh, Cal, if you 
have any interest in checking it out or like in joining along. This is that sprinkles again. Isn't that pretty and fun and rainbowy? Um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what to border it with, I don't know. Because like I said, it says that it's a four weight, but this stuff isn't, it's not that thick, honestly. Um, it's a roving yarn if you've never messed with it before, if you've never used it before. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not terribly, terribly thin. It's not like it's a lace weight or anything, but I, I don't know. It's a thin four, if it's a four, in my opinion. Um, it's just, and it's really like, I don't know how to put it. It's really light, like... It would, I, I don't know, I could try it with like a red heart, but I sort of feel like it would just kind of get pinched up with it. You know, does that make sense? I guess I'll give it a go. If you have any suggestions, let me know though. Um, and I only have two squares done of the week two, which I think was called berries. But like under my finger right here, there's like little baubles of berries, like little clusters, if you can see those. Oh, they're really pretty. I'll have some better pictures on my Instagram of these too, like when I get at least caught up. Um, and the page has like the hashtag that she's using. She has like Instagram tags for it and everything else. Um, Uh, the only other thing that I've put some work into this week, I think, is, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> um, okay, so, you know me and my retro -y fall colors. It's going to be, um, one of those, uh, Krista from The Secret Yarnery made it a while back. It's called, um, a cozy boho snug party I think <laughs> but this is basically so far a blanket and what a surprise that I went with the dark brown and orange and gold and <laughs> I added like a cream white in it um, but the idea is once this gets a certain length which it's about that length now then it gets sleeves uh, sewn into it and bordered up and then a collar. The collar's next, I think, on her list of to-dos for it and then the sleeves and then it's done. So I just have to have time to like quietly sit down and watch it so I can get <laughs> so I can get that put on and then that'll be another finished object hopefully hopefully soon. Um, but I started going back to work like three days a week so I've worked three days last week and I work three days I start work again tomorrow for the week hey the busiest days of the week <laughs> um so I won't have a lot of time to like finish catching up or get that done right now but um, 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 um. as far as acquisitions I have still been continuing some retail therapy <laughs> with yarn and I went to Michael's and my Michael's rarely has like a whole bunch on clearance but um I and I didn't expect this because they didn't have these before I don't know they must have got like another shipment in of them or something but uh for the first time ever I'm trying uh Karen cotton cakes and this one is Rose Whisper And I got a couple of those and I got I think just one of these this is amethyst sky and I got a straight gray which is in the color silver cloud it is not looking real gray in the light I know but since like everyone but me seems to have had 
the cotton cakes this year. Um, you probably know like what they are and stuff. And is that the only cotton cakes I got? Oh no, no. See, originally I was only gonna get this one. I got two of these. This is the one I actually super liked when I was gonna get them before, and I was like, no, you don't have enough cotton, blah, 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 and that's still true, but here I am with them anyway. Um, this one is called Peach Blossom. Peach Blossom? And I got two of those. And then the only other thing I got there was a couple of latte cakes. I got a plain one, which was blueberry mist. So there's two different blues. This one was like the um, paler one, I think, basically, if you'll call it that. And then, since there was only one of these left at the time, I got frozen ginger. I missed out on the Karen cakes when they first introduced them, like the other colors that they had. Um, in that pink fuzzy blanket that I showed you that's sitting off on this chair over here, I had like two Karen cakes that I had, or two latte cakes that I had ordered or something when I first found them. It was really like odd by them, but I didn't know they were like a big thing. Does that make sense? <laughs> Um, and I got them and I was like, man, I wish these came in other colors. And I looked and they, that's when they were just kind of getting rid of them. So I missed out on them basically. So, um, my goal is to have a few of the colors this year <laughs> in case they get rid of them again. <laughs> um, which I'm assuming they will since they got rid of the cotton cakes and maybe it, they'll be seasonal or, or something. I don't know. But, um, and then I had the Joann's rewards for like the five dollars off of five dollars or more purchase so I got the I think it's new it's new to me anyway the newest color of scarfy which is like a I don't know like a gray and blue and it's called it's called blue it's called navy silver sorry I was reading like the French name at first but I got one of those and then while I was there, since I also kind of never really jumped in on these before, I got two of the um, Red Heart stripes. And I got uh, the two that my husband liked the best. I got Polo Stripe and Retro Stripe. So I figured these would do something cool, like, I don't know what I'll do with them yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, and that was all I got last week. Uh, I did not save out most of the clearance stuff. I'll show it to you next week if you guys haven't seen it, but probably everyone has. But um, I found that Joanne store that I said nearby that's like amazing and I so I went back there, they had some more clearance and I got, um, I found two more landscapes that were there. Uh, I found a Harvest Moon the last time and I was super excited about that because I've never had it. And um, I found it again, like they had two clearance skeins of landscape mixed in with their regular landscape yarn, and one of them was Harvest Moon, and one of them was the Galaxy, which I also had never had, despite the fact that landscape is my favorite yarn. I have tons of the other colors, like I have a bunch of Sunset, that's my favorite, or Volcano, I mean, not Sunset, Volcano, that's my favorite. Um, I'm saving them to do something amazing with, and I have a really awesome blanket. Um, that I made with the apple orchard. I made a um, virus blanket. It's really pretty, like in my opinion. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but it's really pretty. Um, I just, I love landscape. It works up so beautiful. And then um, I got, I had gotten a couple weeks ago, I had gotten these, I, like I saw them, so I bought one and I bought the uh, citrine. But I got um, one in amber. This is the Red Heart Gemstones that seem pretty new to me. And you see, I already started <laughs> working on it. This is another one of the um, Zines and Roger uh, Granny Chevron cowl. 
but I'm I'm not positive that that's the right pattern for this yarn yet. I was gonna make like a cowl. Out. I don't know. Maybe I might make a little bit more of it and see if it's happy with that. <laughs> um, we'll see. Cause I love those cowls, and yeah, I like being warm, and I'll probably keep that. Um, I don't think. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this. This was a thrift store find that I had found. But it was like a ceramic bowl. It was like a basket. And I brought it home at the, from the thrift store. And I took the handle off of it. And I, I ended up with, like the second I saw it, my husband laughed at me. So the second I saw it, I was like, oh my god, that's a yarn bowl. That's what it is. Like you can see where the handles were that I had taken off of there. <laughs> right there. Um... But yeah, I mean, this is just it's like a cheap ceramic bowl, but it was 50 cents for the basket, and there's already like notches in it. <laughs> and it's a pretty big bowl, like this is a whole ball of scarfie that I haven't used at all yet, and it fits it. <laughs> and it's just heavy enough to sit on my desk. Uh, it's actually sitting next to my other one. My husband had gotten me one from Michael's that is like kind of shaped like a witch's cauldron. <laughs> As far, it was like the Halloweeniest one we could find. <laughs> See? <laughs> but anyway, um, that was another acquisition I forgot to show you guys. I had that on my Instagram too because I was pretty, pretty pleasantly tickled about it. But <laughs> um, I think that's everything that I have for you guys right now. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll check in one more time before Halloween. But if I don't, I hope you guys have a really safe Halloween. I hope you have a fun Halloween. I really have been loving watching all of your um, Vlogtobers and everything. I hope next year that I'm with it and that I can do it because it's it's a very heathery thing to do. And I just didn't didn't jump the bandwagon this year, but I, w I will probably do it. So anyway, um, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Um, if you want to see any more of my videos, please don't forget to like and to comment below and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.